Light Fire, I'm creating my first game, which is going to be a horror game. Any advice? It's your first game, so first off, I would start by creating systems because that's how you learn the engine and learn how the engine works. So don't make your game right away. I would start with systems. Start with, for a horror game, I don't know if what kind of horror game it is, if it's like a, like a shooter game or just like a stealth game or whatever the case is. But yeah, if it's a shooter game, I would start with creating a system for your weapons, then do a new project and create your system for, like if you're doing a stealth thing, do that. Uh, if you're doing an inventory, do that in a new project. And then basically, just create all these different systems and then you can migrate them all to like a main project afterwards right the thing is is you know it's your first game the first game you make is always super daunting. It's very easy to lose motivation because the engine is very intimidating, for one. Learning any new program is very hard at the beginning because you know what you want to do, but you just don't know how to do it. You don't know how the program works. Um, and then that's like tenfold for Unreal Engine because it's like, not only is the engine super intimidating, but it's just like, you don't know how anything works. And if you have no programming background, it's, it's just 10 times harder. Um, and then you learn something and then you're like, oh, this is the way to do it. And then you learn how somebody else did it and maybe it was a more efficient way. And you're like, God damn it, now I gotta go back and fix that system, right? So you're just constantly learning new things, learning new techniques. So it's really easy to get demoralized. But if you make systems for games and you lose motivation to make a game uh, for like, you know, a couple months or whatever, and then you come back, you didn't necessarily lose progress because maybe you got a different game idea and you want to do something else. Well, now you've already created an inventory system and you've already created the weapon system, whatever the case is, right? So that's kind of the way I would go in terms of creating your first game.